Hi, I'm Lauren and this is Hollywood Party. And today I'll be talking to you about a book called The Forgotten Flapper. It's a novel about Olive Thomas and it's by Lainey Giles. I hope I'm not butchering your name because I love this author. She's so good. She's going to be doing a series of, called The Forgotten Flapper about different actresses of old Hollywood, specifically the 1920s era actresses. Olive Thomas was a flapper who, I mean, I guess anybody in the 1920s who wasn't all buttoned up, you could consider a flapper. She was a model turned actress. She was the most beautiful girl in New York. Um, she worked for Florence Ziegfeld, and I love anything, anything Florence Ziegfeld, I'm totally into it. Um, this book doesn't paint Ziegfeld out to be a super cool guy, which the movie does, The Great Ziegfeld, 1936, like won a kajillion awards because it's so good. But Ziegfeld wasn't William Powell. He wasn't like super nice dude. He was a business guy who humped on a bunch of chicks. So sorry to soil your image of uh, Ziegfeld if you knew anything about him, which I'll be reading more about him and you should know about him. This book, and I'm not going to spoil it at all by saying she's dead. Um, the book starts out with the ghost of Olive, Olive Thomas. That's a true thing. She's, her ghost is haunting the New Amsterdam Theater, which Disney now owns. Um, specifically men. She likes to, you know, squeeze them, whatever, mess with guys, which I think is funny. Um, so it's narrated by her ghost. And if you read the book and think, oh god, nobody from the 20s would speak that kind of in a modern way, it's narrated by a ghost who's been dead for like freaking almost a hundred years. So if the go the ghost is aware of how people speak now, she can speak now, like us now. So I didn't find that to be bad at all. I loved it. I loved the narration. It is kind of a thicker book. It's like almost 400 pages. Um, it It's a really soft book. Oh my god, I love it. I first got this book as a e-book because Martin Turnbull had recommended it and I read that this book like that and it's a big book. Um, it's great. I knew a little bit about Olive Thomas. I knew about her tragedy which also is not spoiling it because I already told she's dead. Um, I really liked her. Um, it's a bummer that she died so young. I don't know what she would have become like most young people who die super young who knows what would have happened. But she had a good amount of fame, married into a pretty good film family. Um, the guy she married, he is Jack Pickford, who is Mary Pickford's brother. Kind of like you either love him or you hate him. I went back and forth with him during this book. In real life, I don't like him at all. I think he's a total douche. Um, but there are women on the internet who I found who are like, oh, he could do no wrong. He would never do anything bad to his wife. Are you kidding me? Like, this guy's a freaking alcoholic. Of course he would do something bad to his wife. Um, but it's a good book. It's a fun book. You don't, like I said, you don't have to know anything about her. Um, it's kind, it's not really a biography. I don't really know how to, because it is a novel, but it's, you get to know everything about her, and it's very interesting. I love it. I can't wait for the next book, which is going to be all about Clara Bow. Um, she does, she does her research, and there will be mentions of people from old Hollywood. You don't have to know about them. If you know some of the Ziegfeld girls, cool. If you don't, that's okay. Look them up. They're pretty. They're pretty to look at. Most of the Ziegfeld girls died super young because that's what happens when you're super hot. I guess you just like freaking combust and you can't handle life anymore. I don't know what that's like. Sorry if you're super hot. You're probably gonna die. Um, this book, there's a story in this book that kind of links back to the picture of Gloria Swanson. Um, of her standing in the wreckage of the Roxy Theater, which was the basis of the Follies move, uh, Follies Theater production that Sondheim did. That that play is about these Follies girls who get together and meet, you know, after X amount of years of being in the Ziegfeld Follies. Olive made a pact to do that with. A bunch of girls who were friends with her in the Follies and like one girl showed up because everybody else died. Um, they go into detail about that story in this book and apparently it was true because there was a 
article written interviewing just the one girl who showed up because all of her friends are dead. Yikes. Um, making this sound like way more of a downer book than it is. It's a freaking awesome book. You should totally read it. Um, totally read it. You don't have to know anything about silent movies. You don't have to know about Olive Thomas. It's just a fun book. And if you like murder mysteries, hell yeah, read this book because you don't know who did it. Really, literally, you do not know what happened. This, even the author is like, it's up to your interpretation. Who knows what happened to her? I don't. I don't. So it's a great book. Um, ask for it for Christmas. Get it with your Christmas money. I'm like totally into this book. So I would give it like 4.5 out of 5 stars. I would give it 5 stars, but I don't want to like hype it up too much for you. It's so like 4.5. Um, it is a little lengthy, but deal with it. It's a freaking book. Like, come on. What are you going to do? Look on Facebook all day? Shut up. Read the book. Um, anyways, that's it. I will try and do a couple more videos before the holidays. I am working straight through because I'm in the service industry. So if you go out to eat for Christmas, tip your waiters. Seriously, we don't want to serve you. Anyways, um, happy holidays and I'll see you next time. Bye.